my voice is not able yes sir so in the last lecture we have seen the numerical on the impulse momentum principle okay so the second type in this uh, numerical is when the block is resting on the inclined plane we have seen yesterday the last numerical on which the block is resting on the horizontal plane okay that problem we have solved by using the impulse momentum principle earlier to that we have solved the numericals by using work energy principle so now uh, we will take one more problem of this impulse momentum principle when the block is on the inclined plane okay so that the variety will get solved so now determine determine the time required Find the time required for weights for weights shown in figure for weights shown in figure to attain to attain velocity of Velocity of nine point eight one meter per second. Full stop. What is what is the tension in tension in cord? Cord means rope or string. Take mu is equal to zero point two for both planes. For both planes, assume. Assume. Pulleys are frictionless. Pulleys are frictionless and weightless. Pulleys are frictionless and weightless. Now draw the diagram. This angle is thirty degree. For this plane, it is sixty degree. Two blocks are there. One is placed on the plane which is inclined at an angle of thirty degree. The placement. And the second block it is placed like this. Rope. These two blocks are tied by the rope. Which is passed over the pulley. Even the pulley. This is the pulley. These two are the ropes. Then the weight of this block, which is which will act through the CG, weight will act through the CG for the both the blocks. 
Now the weight is given. For this block, the weight is two thousand newton. And for this block, it is one thousand eight hundred. Two thousand newton and one thousand eight hundred newton. Okay. So. Its direction of motion is given. So the direction of the motion. This is the direction of the motion. This is the direction of motion. If these must things are given to us, now we have to solve the further problem. So we know the direction of the motion. So now this block is moving down. It means that this block will move up. So this block will move up. This is the direction of motion for this two hundred newton block. Now we have to see. First, we will calculate the time. Okay, what is the time required? What is the, what they have asked? Determine the time required for weight shown in figure to attain the velocity of nine point eight one meter per second. So the final velocity of both the blocks must be. Nine point eight one. Okay. So final velocity of both the blocks must be nine point eight one. So that velocity they should attain from the start. So here you can write your initial velocity. It is zero. Final velocity is nine point eight one. Now mu is also given zero point two for both the planes. By using this mu, we can calculate the frictional force along the plane. That also we will consider in our calculations. So now resolve the weights first. So if you resolve this, one component is parallel to the plane. The other component is like this, okay, perpendicular to the plane. Again, one component is parallel to the plane. Now inclined plane will become our x-axis. Okay. Now this inclined plane is the x-axis, and this inclined plane is also x-axis for this block. So now, if this angle is thirty, this angle is also thirty degrees. Similar thing is there. If this angle is sixty, here this angle is also sixty degree. Whatever this angle is there, it is sixty degree. So now, if you resolve this, what you will get here? It is two thousand cos thirty. This is two thousand sine thirty. This is two thousand one thousand eight hundred one thousand eight hundred sine thirty, and this is one thousand eight hundred. Sorry, not thirty sixty. Angle sixty degree, right? Sixty cos sixty. Now the normal reactions are also there. So here. If I draw the normal reaction, this is the normal reaction. Here is this one is the normal reaction. So we will call this as reaction. This reaction as R one. This reaction as R. These normal reactions we have to find out to calculate the frictional force. So frictional force is also present. Now this is the direction of the motion. So the frictional force will be opposite to the direction of the motion. So if I draw the frictional force, this is the frictional force. We will call this frictional force as F1. We will calculate the value. And for second frictional force, now the direction of motion is in this direction. So opposite direction frictional force will be there. This is the frictional force. Now apply summation F y equal to zero for the first block. Okay. Suppose say uh, say that this is my block number one. This is my block number two. So if you apply summation F y equal to zero, so I will write apply summation F y equal to zero to block one. To block one, what I will get now? Now see this inclined plane is our x axis. This inclined plane and perpendicular to this is our y axis. So whatever the axis which is perpendicular to this, consider the forces parallel to this axis. So here, which are those forces? This is R one, and then two thousand cross thirty. So here it is R one moving upwards. So R one minus 
2000 cos 30 is equal to 0. Therefore, what is the value of R1? So it is 1732.05 Newton. Check the answer. This it is, is correct, a, sir. Okay, correct. So this is F1, R1. So from this, we will call the frictional force, calculate the frictional force. F1 is equal to mu into R1. Here is the F1 force, frictional force. So what is the value of mu in the numerical? They have given us 0 0.2. So it is 0 0.2 into 1732.05. So therefore, F1 is equal to F1 is equal to 346.41 Newton. Right? Calculate yes. Sir. It. Okay. So now after the calculation of this, now come to the block number two. Now apply summation Fy equal to zero to block number second. Here I will write apply summation Fy equal to zero to block second, block number two. Now if you apply that, what you will get? So here, this is now your H plane, X axis and perpendicular to this is your Y axis. So this will be your Y axis. So forces parallel to this Y axis are these forces. So it is R2 is there and 1800 cos 60 is there. So it will be R2 moving upward minus 1800 cos 60 is equal to 0. Therefore, what is the value of R2? 900. R2 is 900. Okay, so it is 900 Newton. Similarly, calculate F2. So F2 is equal to mu into R2, which is equal to mu is 0 0.2 into R2, just we have calculated 900, 9 into 2, 180. Now, so it is 180 Newton, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so now we know the value of this F1 and the value of this F2. The value of F1 is 346. The value of F2 is 180. Now we will apply the impulse momentum principle. So here we can write impulse. What is the impulse momentum principle? Impulse is equal to impulse is equal to change in momentum. Change in momentum impulse. So how do we calculate the impulse? Impulse is calculated as summation F into T. Okay, this is impulse, which is equal to change in momentum change in momentum. Now, how many blocks are there? Two blocks are there. How do we calculate the momentum? Mass into velocity. So, for the first block, it is m1 v1 minus u1 plus for second block m2 v2 minus u. This is the change in moment. Okay. Now, summation f. Now see the forces which are in the direction of the velocity. Now motion is in this direction. So velocity is also in this direction. Motion is in this direction. So for this block, velocity direction is same as the direction of the motion. So now if you consider the block of this 2000 Newton, the direction of motion is towards the right hand side. Okay. So the forces which are parallel to this direction that we should consider. So the forces which are parallel to this plane that we will consider in summation f. So which are those forces? So first is 2000 sine 30. But this force is in the opposite direction of the motion. That is the opposite direction to the velocity. So this force, we should take it as a minus. So it will be minus 2000 sine 30. This is the first force. Okay. The second force acting on this block, which is in this direction parallel to this plane, it is F1. So F1, it is 346.41. And this F1 is also in the opposite direction to that of the direction of the motion. Okay, so these two forces are there, which are in the opposite sense of this motion. Okay. So it will be minus 2000 
साइन थर्टी माइनस थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर्टी वन ओके दिस इज फॉर दिस ब्लॉक ब्लॉक नंबर वन नाउ कम टू ब्लॉक नंबर टू Now this is the direction of the motion. It is moving in this direction. Velocity is also in this direction because whatever the direction of of the motion is there, same is the direction of the velocity. So di direction of motion is very important. So this is the direction of the motion. But yah direction la parallel asna re forces baga. Okay, direction kuchye tuchi hi. Mujhe yah plane la parallel direction hai ashi. So the forces baga ichi the ude. The ude forces konte konte tar half forces hai. So half forces hai. So parallel hai. 180 डायरेक्शन सो हा फोर्स कसा घेणार तुम्ही प्लस नेक्स्ट इज दिस फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स दिस फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इज ऑल्सो इन दिस डायरेक्शन सो मीन्स मीन्स पॅरल टू दिस प्लेन बट द मोशन इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन अँड द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इज इन द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन टू द मोशन सो दिस व्हॅल्यू इज अगेन मायनस सो इफ आय राईट हिअर इट इज वन एट झिरो झिरो प्लस वन एट झिरो झिरो साईन ऑफ सिक्स्टी मायनस वन एट दिस इज समेशन एफ इन टू टाइम वी डोंट नो वी हॅव टू कॅल वॉन्ट टू कॅल्क्युलेट एज इट इज ना एम वन एम वन इज द मास ऑफ द फर्स्ट ब्लॉक एम वन इज द मास ऑफ द फर्स्ट ब्लॉक मास इज ऑलवेज इन ग्रॅम ऑर किलोग्रॅम आय हॅव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इन द लास्ट लेक्चर अँड वेट इज ऑलवेज इन न्यूटन अँड किलो न्यूटन now here you can see 2000 newton weight of the block is given so from the weight we can calculate the mass so weight is 2000 so if we divide that weight by 9.81 then this quantity gives us the mass so this is the value of m1 into what is the value of v1 so v1 is it should attain the velocity of 9.81 it should attain the velocity of 9.81 So it is 9.81. Okay, from the start it should attain. So initial velocity is zero plus m2. M2 is this block. What is the weight of this block? 1800 newton. So we want mass. So it is 1800 divided by 9.81 in, into here it is 9.81 minus zero. So if you solve this, you will get the value of time. Time required to reach to the velocity of nine point eight one. what is the answer okay. 117.13 117.15 seconds okay so this is the time required ha time kasha sa calculate kela hai tumhi this is the time required see here the time required for weight shown in figure to attain the velocity of 9.81 meter per second okay so to attain this velocity of 9.81 meter per second this much time is required this is the time now what is the second thing we need to find out second thing they have asked us what is the tension in the cord so this cord is a single string this is called as cord or string or rope so what is the tension in that rope that they have asked us okay so consider the free body diagram of any of the block and apply the same moment impulse equation so that you will get the tension so we will consider the fbd of this 2000 newton block okay. so we are to calculate the tension consider free body diagram of 2000 newton block okay now if i consider the free body diagram of 2000 newton block we will draw the diagram 
for plain inclination of plane is 30 degree and flow Here it is the centroid. So the weight two thousand newton. So now we will resolve this again. One component. This is the second component. This angle is same, thirty degree. Angle between the lines is angle between their normals. Two thousand cos thirty. Two thousand sine thirty. Here is the normal reaction R. And here you can see we are considering the free fall diagram of this block, so there will be the tension in this row, this tension. When you apply the principle for whole system, so we have not cut down this string, we have not considered the individual blocks for whole system. Okay, then there is no need to consider the tension in the string. Okay. But when you consider the single block, then there will be the tension in the string here. It it must be considered. So. Here I will show the tension in the string. This is T. Tension in the string. Then frictional force, obviously. Frictional force is in the opposite direction to the motion. So, what is the direction of the motion? In the direction. This is the direction of the motion. This is the direction of the motion. The frictional force is in opposite direction. So, the direction of the frictional force. And this force already we have calculated the value. The value is what is the value of F one? It is three forty six point four one. Apply impulse momentum principle. So impulse is equal to change in momentum. So impulse is summation F into T. Now here single block is there, only one block. So it is M. B minus U. So now in the summation F, you can see this is the direction of the motion. So the direction of the velocity is same, which is parallel to this x-axis inclined plane. So this force again in summation F minus two thousand sine thirty. It is moving in this direction, which is parallel to this plane. Okay, so it is not in the direction of motion. It is opposite to the direction of motion. Sine thirty again. Minus this three forty six point forty one. Again, now plus this tension in the strain T, which is in the direction of the motion. Plus T into time. What is the time? Time just we have calculated one one seven point one five. Okay, which is equal to m. M is the mass. Weight is two thousand. So mass will be two thousand divided by nine point eight one into. Final velocity it is attending from zero to nine point eight one in just these seconds. So if you put all the values, you will get tension in the strain T. Okay. Find out the answer.
What is the answer? One three six three point four eight. One three six three point four eight meter. Others, please do check the answer. This is the answer. T is equal to. Okay. So this is the impulse moment. Here you can see for first when we need to calculate the time for both the blocks. Two blocks are there. That is why here two terms are there. Okay, two terms. This will remain constant f into t. Here two terms are there. If three blocks are there, then third term will get added. If n blocks are there, n term will be here. Now here, uh, when we consider the free body diagram of this block, first block, then only one block we we are considered here. So there is only one term. Okay, same is the thing with work energy principle also. That also I have explained to you. How how to write the equations. Okay, is it over? Yes, sir. So these are the numbicals which are on the level plane as well as on the inclined plane for the impulse momentum. We have also seen the numbical for work energy on the level plane, inclined plane. Okay. Now the last bit in this chapter that is the collision that we will see now. in the collision also there are not many variety of the problems simple only the two types of problems are there only so that we will see now in the collision okay and after that your last chapter it is only the theoretical chapter 5 6 definitions are there in that chapter which can be asked for the exam so last chapter will take half an hour or at the max one hour okay so this is the last bit in the second last chapter Last is the collision. In this collision, write down some theory. When, when two bodies, when two bodies having impact. Bodies having impact with each other, then then collision is takes place. So very simple collision. when two bodies having impact with each other or they they collides with each other then we call it as a collision okay collision means marathi madhe kya hota hai tala takkar zali madhat nahi ka that is the collision okay so there are basically two main types of the collision first is the elastic collision and second is the plastic collision Elastic collision and plastic collision. So we will see that first. Elastic collision. See, elastic collision. So the property of a body. property of a body by virtue of which of which they rebound after the collision they rebound after the collision They rebound after the collision. 
is called as elastic collision. Is called as elastic. Okay. When two bodies are collide with each other, and if after the collision they rebound, okay, they rebound after the collision, then it is called as the elastic collision. Okay. Elastic collision. Next, the plastic collision. Next is the plastic collision. What is the plastic collision? If if the body does not rebound. Does not rebound after collision. After the collision, then it is known as it is known as plastic collision. Or inelastic collision. Plastic collision or inelastic collision. Very simple. Hmm? Elastic collision means when the bodies are rebound after the collision, then it is elastic collision. If the bodies are not rebound after the collision, that is known as plastic collision. दोन जर तुम्ही आपले हे घेतले स्पियर्स किंवा रब आपले रबराचे बॉल असतील इफ देयर इज अ कोलिजन बिटवीन टू रबर बॉल्स देन दे विल रिबाउंड आफ्टर द कोलिजन सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इलास्टिक कोलिजन ओके आणि तेस तुम्ही ही भिंत आहे समोर आणि तुम्ही येऊन या भिंतीवरती धडकला काय होईल विल का रिबाउंड नाही लागल ना तुम्हाला तुम्ही तिथेच पडता सो दैट इज द प्लास्टिक कोलिजन देयर इज नो रिबाउंड ओके So these are the two basic two types of collision. Then Newton's law of collision. Third thing is that Newton's law of collision. it states that it states that when two moving bodies when two moving bodies collide with each other collide with each other their velocity of separation their velocity of separation bears bears a constant ratio constant ratio with their velocity of approach ratio to their their velocity to their velocity of approach so what does say is that see now if i show you here suppose this is the surface okay two spheres are there the 
So let us say fed spin. Okay. Let us say that the mass of this sphere is m one. The mass of this sphere is m two. Okay. And this is moving with the velocity of. So the velocity of this sphere is u one, and the velocity of this sphere is u two. This is u one. This is u two. Okay. Now you tell me that if the value of u one is greater than u two, then what will happen if both of these are moving on this plane? See, both of these masses or both of these spheres are moving on this plane. And the u1 is the velocity of the uh, sphere which is having mass m1, and u2 is the velocity of the sphere which is having mass m2. So now, if the value of this u1 is greater than u2, then what will happen? I will. The m1 and m2 are two sphere ahead. या दोग या स्ट्रेट लाइन वरती चलने लगी प्लेन है समझा या स्ट्रेट लाइन वरती अपन सोडले रहे दोग एम वन ची वेलॉसिटी यू वन है एम टू ची वेलॉसिटी यू टू है इनिशियल वेलॉसिटी ओके सो जर यू वन ची वैल्यू जर ग्रेटर आए यू टू पेक्षा तो क्या होलिजन हो नहीं यस और नो ये समझा है यू वन ची वैल्यू है हंड्रेड सपोज यू वन ची वैल्यू है हंड्रेड मीटर पर से U2 ची वैल्यू है फिफ्टी मीटर पर सेकंड आता हम तुम्हारा गैप दिशा लगला है बट एज द टाइम विल पास दिस गैप विल बी क्लोज ग्रेजुअली हलूह हलू का यू वन हाजे एम वन हा एम टू ऐसी जवर जाए ना मग एक पॉइंट आई कि ज्यादा पॉइंट लम वन विथ कोलाइड एम वन विथ कोलाइड विथ एम टू ओके बिकॉज दिस वेलॉसिटी इज ग्रेटर सो नाउ This is the condition before the collision. This is the condition before the collision. So this is we can we call this as before collision. Azun he collision why it's a okay collision. So these are called as the velocities of approach, the velocities of the spheres or the velocities of the objects before collision is called as the velocity of approach. कोलिजन एक पॉइंट धड़क तीन ओके धड़कून पर डायग्राफ्टर कोलिजन नफ्टर कोलिजन दिस इज द मास एम वन This is the mass m two. Put okay. light uh, direction la jau sakte tha. Asa hi kardh jati la sakte na. This is the ideal situation we are taking. This is m one. This is m two. And now the velocities after collision are again this is the velocity v one and velocity v two. So this v one and v two. This is after collision. After Position. Okay. Again, they will get separate after collision. Now, what is velocity of approach? According to Newton's, what he says that when two moving bodies collide with each other, their velocity of separation bears a constant ratio to their velocity of approach. So now, what is the velocity of approach? So here, velocity of approach. Velocity of approach means you have to see the diagram before collision. Okay, how they are approaching to each other. So here, if u one is greater than u two, then your velocity of approach will be u one minus u two. If you do u one minus u two, then that will be your velocity of approach. ये कितनी velocity नहीं थे जब वाले अलग ले रहे हैं. जेकड़ा वाला लक्ष्य है ये दर्शन बर्क मीटर पर सेकंड आसे. 
आणि ह्याचा स्पीड पन्नास मीटर पर सेकंद असेल म्हणजे ह्याचा अर्थ काय ह्याचा अर्थ काय की हे जे एम टू मास आहे किंवा एम टू जो स्पीयर आहे हा एका सेकंदामध्ये पन्नास मीटर एवढं चाललंय बरोबर बरोबर आहे का फिफ्टी मीटर पर सेकंडचा अर्थ काय असतंय एका सेकंदात किती मीटर कवर होतंय फिफ्टी मीटर आणि एम वन मास जे आहे ते एका सेकंदामध्ये किती मीटर कवर करतंय हंड्रेड मीटर म्हणजे किती मीटर जास्त कवर करते पन्नास मीटर जास्त कवर करते ना एम वन एम टू पेक्षा हे जे पन्नास मीटर पर सेकंद आहे ना तो जो डिफरन्स आहे ना दॅट इज कॉल्ड ऍज व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच ओके फॉर्म्युला पाठ करू नका व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच म्हणजे काय हे लक्षात ठेवा दोन गोष्टी जर दोन जर मुव्हिंग व्हेकल आहेत समजा दोन गाड्या आहेत आणि चाललेत समजा एक ट्रक चालली आहे ट्रकच्या मागून कार येते त्या दोघांचा ऍक्सिडेंट कधी होईल रोड वरती एकाच डायरेक्शन चालताना ज्या वेळेला या कारची व्हेलॉसिटी ट्रक पेक्षा जास्त असेल तरच ती जाऊन धडकेल ना जर या कारची व्हेलॉसिटी या ट्रक पेक्षा कमी आहे तर ट्रक कसं पुढंच चालत राहील कार आणि ट्रक मध्ये डिस्टन्स सुट वाढत राहील ते माग 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 राहणार व्हेलॉसिटी कमी असली तर समजतंय मग हे ज्या वेळेला कोलिजन होणार आहे तर ह्याची व्हेलॉसिटी जास्त असायला पाहिजे मग ही जी ऑलरेडी असलेला ऑब्जेक्ट आहे ट्रक आणि कार ह्या दोघांच्या व्हेलॉसिटीतला जो काही डिफरन्स असेल बिफोर कोलिजन त्या डिफरन्सला म्हणायचं व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच क्लिअर झालं वॉट इज व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच सो दिस इज कॉल्ड ऍज व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच हिअर सो इन दिस केस यू कॅन से दॅट इफ दिस इज फिफ्टी मीटर पर सेकंड अँड दिस व्हेलॉसिटी इज हंड्रेड मीटर पर सेकंड अँड दिस इज फिफ्टी मीटर पर सेकंड देन द व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच विल बी हंड्रेड मायनस फिफ्टी फिफ्टी इज युअर व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच ओके this is for our understanding we have taken these numbers so velocity of approach will be u1 minus u2 okay then what is the velocity of separation velocity of separation so same way the velocity of separation will be v2 minus v1 so why it is v2 minus v1 suppose now after collision m2 pure एम टू ला हा एम वन मागून येऊन धडकणार आहे बरोबर आहे ऑलरेडी एम टू मोशन मध्ये ऑलरेडी एम टू मोशन मध्ये आणि एम वन येऊन जर एम वन हा स्पीयर येऊन मागून एम टू ला जर धडकला तर एम टू जागेवर थांबवेल का अजून जास्त स्पीडनी पुढे जाईल काय होईल फास्ट स्पीडनी पुढे जाईल का नाही म्हणजे आफ्टर कोलिजन जी काही एम वन ची एनर्जी आहे एम वन ची एनर्जी कुणाला ट्रान्सफर होईल एम टू ला आणि एम टू फास्ट जाईल आणि एम वन ची व्हेलॉसिटी कमी राहील त्यावेळेला आफ्टर कोलिजन बोलतोय सो आफ्टर कोलिजन युअर व्ही टू व्हेलॉसिटी इज ग्रेटर अँड व्ही वन व्हेलॉसिटी इज लेस समजतंय सो हिअर दिस इज दिस डिफरन्स इज कॉल्ड ऍज व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन व्ही टू मायनस व्ही वन दिस इज कॉल्ड ऍज व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन ओके ना व्हॉट द न्यूटन सेज न्यूटन सेज दॅट द व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन बिअर्स द कॉन्स्टंट रेशियो विथ द व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच ओके so if i write it mathematically then it is v2 minus v1 is our velocity of separation and velocity of approach u1 minus u2 is velocity of approach so this bears a constant ratio and that constant is called as coefficient of restitution and it is denoted by letter e okay newton ne kya sangitla when two bodies collide with each other their velocity of separation manje v2 minus v1 bears a constant ratio with their velocity of approach velocity of approach manje u1 minus u2 ya dogancha ratio kasa hai constant hai bears a constant ratio ani ta constant la ek naav dile gela tyacha naav ahe coefficient of restitution coefficient of restitution okay and this is the formula for coefficient of restitution e is equal to v2 minus v1 upon u1 minus u2 for the elastic impact the value of e is 1 lakshat theva mcq la question vicharla jate vai madhe liu theva var kutha tari for the elastic impact the value of e is 1 and for the plastic impact the value of e is 0 okay for plastic impact the value of e is 0 here i will write for for elastic collision or impact or elastic impact or collision the value of e is equal to 1 and for plastic impact 
for plastic impact or collision the value of e is zero for the plastic impact the value of e is zero and e is called as e la kya banana sir e is nothing but it is coefficient of restitution it is the coefficient of restitution Is it understood? The next day, we will see the coefficient of restitution. Coefficient of restitution when. when impact on fixed plate so the coefficient of restitution when impact on फिक्स्ड प्लेन ओके नाउ सी फिक्स्ड प्लेन आता आपण कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन ची व्हॅल्यू बघणार आहे किंवा फॉर्म्युला मध्ये काय चेंज होतो ते आपण बघणार आहे व्हेन फिक्स्ड प्लेन इज देयर फिक्स्ड प्लेन म्हणजे ही भिंत फिक्स्ड प्लेन इज दिस वॉल अकॉर्डिंग टू अस तुम्ही पळत पळत त्याला जोरात पकडता आणि त्या भिंतीवर ती उन आदळलं काय होईल डोकं फुटणार आहे त्यापेक्षा काय होणार आहे की जास्त त्या भिंतीला काय होईल काहीच होणार नाही सो दैट वॉल इज फिक्स्ड प्लेन वॉल एका जागेवर स्थिर आहे ना So what is the initial velocity of the wall? Zero. So you need to start the engine, right? Now, first, first. So you need to start velocity as well. Okay. You need to have wind tilt at the top. So that you have to pull it. The halal ka zage or the wall. So what is the final velocity of the wall? Zero. So whenever a fixed plane is there, the initial velocity of that fixed plane and the final velocity of that fixed plane will be zero. Fix as well as I say. I mean, just wind tilt at the top. Okay. So now, for that, what is the change in the formula of the coefficient of restitution that we will see now? Okay. Now, see for the fixed plane, I will draw the diagram. First, I will draw the diagram. Suppose now this is a plane. Okay. Now imagine that this is a wall. Okay. This is a wall. imagine this this is a wall and let us say that the mass of this wall is m2 m2 is the mass of the wall okay so initial velocity we say that initial velocity of this wall is zero wall kuta halnar hai ka jage varna halnar okay now a sphere is there suppose a sphere is there this is the sphere and this sphere is having the mass m1 and it is moving with the velocity u1 it is moving with the velocity u1 so u1 is the velocity before impact okay u1 is the velocity before impact before impact the velocity is u1 okay so it is moving with the velocity u1 and a wall is there still wall it is having initial velocity is zero okay now after collision try bolo ta na aaj bhi lag ye the so the now and this is the data इम्पैक्ट विद द वॉल हे स्पियर काय होईल या भिंतीला धडकल आणि धडकल्यावरती 
भिंत हालेल का जागे वर नहीं मुझे फाइनल वेलोसिटी का है जली या वॉल ची जीरो फाइनल वेलोसिटी ऑफ़ द वॉल इज़ जीरो वी टू इज़ जीरो ओके फाइनल वेलोसिटी ऑफ़ वॉल इज़ जीरो पर अतः अपन सुन द बॉल से क्या भिंत वर्ती बॉल हाँ कई तरी वेलोसिटी नहीं जाए भिंत पर इंतज़ार ओके भिंत ला जस्ट लगाई चा आधी ची तो ची वेलोसिटी है सुन द यू वन ओके तय वाला भिंत ची वेलोसिटी क्या है जीरो ती जागे वर्त है ना यू टू इज़ जीरो व्हेन इट कोलाइड्स विथ द वॉल देन इट रिबाउंड बरोबर है तो बॉल परत ही ना लगले वर्ती सो आफ्टर कोलिजन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ दिस मास इज सपोज वी वन यू वन इनिशियल वेलोसिटी है अने आफ्टर कोलिजन वेलोसिटी क्या है आफ्टर कोलिजन व्हेन इट इज मूविंग बैक द वेलोसिटी सपोज वी वन वी वन इज द वेलोसिटी आफ्टर कोलिजन दिस इज द वेलोसिटी आफ्टर कोलिजन पर आफ्टर कोलिजन जरी जालो वॉल पर उभर तरी तो वॉल पर दी बिंत हालना रे कता के वर नहीं हालना सो v2 इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द वॉल व्हिच इज स्टिल जीरो व्हिच इज स्टिल जीरो ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन इफ आई राइट द फार्मूला कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ रेस्टिट्यूशन इज नथिंग बट वेलोसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन वेलोसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन मगाशी आताच सांगितले मी तुम्हाला डिवाइडेड बाय divided by velocity of approach velocity of approach so e is equal to velocity of separation it is v2 minus v1 divided by velocity of approach it is u1 minus u2 but here you know that u2 and v2 what are the values of u2 and v2 those are Zero. So I can write v two is zero minus v one divided by it is u one minus zero. So therefore, e is equal to. So e is equal to what will remain e is equal to it is v one upon u one. Neglect the minus sign. Neglect the negative sign. Negative sign is for direction. Negative sign is for direction. Okay. Negative sign is for the show the velocities are in opposite direction. So this is the formula e is equal to v one upon u one. Okay. So coefficient of restitution when other plane is fixed, then to calculate the coefficient of restitution is u one is the velocity before impact, v one is the velocity after impact. Okay. If you take the ratio of this v one to u one, then you will get coefficient of restitution in the case of Fixed planes. So fixed planes are having initial uh, velocity before impact is also zero, and velocity after impact is also zero. Okay, is it clear? The further case, I need to learn. Okay. Azun, ek tumara chota ek concept sangto, so pay attention over here. This we have already seen in the angular motion. Still, I will tell you. Suppose now this is a plane. Suppose now this is a plane. And now suppose here one ball is there, okay, and this ball is drop, drop, okay, drop. के लिए कुत्ता कुत्ता चल रहा है मगा moving downward, moving downward. And suppose that it is dropped from height h. Its height of drop is h. Okay, so I can write the equation for this. Uh, Sphere, it is v square is equal to u square. It is moving down, so plus two g h. Am I right? This is the equation. Motion under gravity. Suppose it is our motion under gravity. The rekha di was to khali hai ta sir. The acceleration due to gravity apn plus get ho. To be gravity che virud the rekha di was to jawa fekta. Ya wo apn g che value kai get ho minus. Mai ta bhi kai mandle tu mala. We have dropped the ball. We have dropped the sphere. Drop के लिए मुझे initial velocity कितनी जा रही? Drop के लिए कि initial velocity कितनी आती zero? तो वो take ला खाली 
फोर्स जर लावला तर इनिशियल व्हेलॉसिटी इज हॅव्हिंग सम व्हॅल्यू इफ यू जस्ट ड्रॉप इट असं नुसतं वर घेतलं आणि मी बोट सोडून दिले तर मी काय फोर्स लावतोय का याच्यावरती नाही सो इनिशियल व्हेलॉसिटी इज झिरो आणि फायनल व्हेलॉसिटी तिची काय असेल जी काय असेल ती ग्राउंडला टच व्हायच्या आधी दॅट इज द फायनल व्हेलॉसिटी ओके ना इफ आय वॉन्ट टू कॅल्क्युलेट द फायनल व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ दिस बॉल बिफोर हिटिंग द ग्राउंड दिस इज द फायनल व्हेलॉसिटी बी अँड हिअर द इनिशियल व्हेलॉसिटी यू इज इक्वल टू झिरो बिकॉज आय हॅव ड्रॉप मी इथनं एका बॉलला ड्रॉप केलेला आहे आणि हा फरशीवरती लागायच्या आधी त्याची व्हेलॉसिटी काय असेल शेवटच्या मुवमेंटला तर ती व्हेलॉसिटी मी व्ही म्हणलं काय म्हटलं मी त्याला व्ही तर मी जर ही मोशन अनालाइज केली फ्रॉम यू टू व्ही आय कॅन युज दिस इक्वेशन बी स्क्वेअर इज इक्वल टू यू स्क्वेअर प्लस टू जी एच बट इफ आय ड्रॉप द बॉल देन माय इनिशियल व्हेलॉसिटी इज झिरो सो इफ आय कीप कीप दिस व्हॅल्यू झिरो देन आय विल गेट बी स्क्वेअर इज इक्वल टू टू जी एच देअर फोर व्ही इज इक्वल टू वॉट अंडर रूट टू जी एच दिस इज ऑल्सो द फॉर्म्युला यू कॅन डायरेक्टली यूज when a object is dropped from a certain height the final velocity of the object before touching the ground this is ground before touching the ground you can calculate by using this formula although you can use directly use the equation but the formula mahit asla tar changla chai v is equal to under root 2g x okay so after this we will see now the numericals based on this write down the problem 80 newton body moving 18 newton body moving moving to the right moving to the right at a speed of 3 meter per second strikes strikes 10 newton body 10 newton body which is moving which is moving towards left towards left the speed of the speed of 10 meter per second the final velocity of final velocity of 10 newton body is is 4 meter per second towards right towards right full stop calculate 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 coefficient of restitution coefficient of restitution and and final velocity of another body 
also find also find amount of ee loss also find the loss in kinetic energy okay so very simple problem is there now this is the surface suppose now this is the body of 80 kN this is the body of 10 kN wait 80 kN 10 kN sorry 80 newton not kN 10 newton moving what they have said 80 newton body is moving to the right at a speed of 3 meter per second this body is moving towards right okay with a speed of 3 meter per second so u1 is equal to 3 But is equal to three meter per second. Then strikes ten newton body, which is moving towards left with a speed of ten meter per second. So u two, u two is equal to. See, this is moving towards right. So towards right, we consider this velocity as positive, as this is moving towards left. we will consider it as a negative and it is minus 10 meter per second because it is moving towards left problem made sagitla and for moving towards right we will take this as positive this direction as positive for left it is negative okay then after collision kay zala mun sagitla parat what they have told us after the collision this is the situation before collision after collision strikes 10 newton body moving towards left with a speed of 10 meter per second find the velocity so after collision kai will take with a drop or to so now 80 newton body let me newton body This ten newton body. So the final velocity. See, final velocity of ten newton body is four meter per second towards right. So this is towards right. The final velocity. So B two. B two is equal to four meter per second. Calculate the velocity of this body. So we need to calculate what is the value of this B one. What is the value of this B one? And also the coefficient of restitution. Also we need to find out the value of coefficient of restitution and final velocity of this another body means. Hetal amount of kinetic energy also. So here we will use law of conservation of momentum. Law of conservation of momentum. Okay, what is that law? This you have, you might have learned. M one u one plus m two u two is equal to M one V one plus M two V two. Okay. So M one V one plus M two V two is equal to M one V one plus M two V two. This is the law of conservation of momentum. Okay. There is no derivation for your syllabus of this law. This law is only required here in the collision, and you have to directly use this law to find out the value. This is the law of conservation of momentum. M one u one plus M two u two is equal to M one v one plus M two v two. So now, if I put the value, suppose now this is M one. 
So M1, M2, M2. So now for M1, 80 Newton. So it is 80 divided by 9.81 mass into U1 is the velocity 3 plus plus. Here it is 10 divided by 9.81 into U2. U2 is minus 10 because it is moving towards left. <coughs> is equal to again M1. 80 divided by 9.81 into B1. We don't know the value. Plus M2. 10 divided by 9.81 into what is the value of V2? It is moving towards right. So, so. so here the only unknown is V1. Therefore, if you solve this, you will get the value of V1. So after solving this, we will get V1 as 1.25 meter per second. Okay, check the answer. Is it clear, right? V1, 1.25. What is the law of conservation of momentum? Law of conservation of momentum says that to one of my like a visitor last the law the sound of the way. Star Kurun Lito meter, the Tumala exam of the Lachi Gorizna, Tumala Sunday setting it. The law of conservation of momentum Kai. Then it is, it says that initial momentum, initial momentum is equal to final momentum. Initial momentum is equal to final moment. It's a don't don't it objects monon don't value a catcher object as last at a catcher last state. M1 U1 is equal to M1 V1. Initial momentum, final momentum. What is momentum? Momentum is nothing but mass into velocity. That is nothing but moment. So this is the V1. Now we will calculate the value of coefficient of. Restitution. So here now e is equal to u2 minus v1 divided by u1 minus u2, which is equal to u2 is 4 minus 1.25 divided by 3 minus minus 10. See okay, here because towards left. We have taken it minus towards right, it is plus. Okay, here I have shown if it is moving velocity is to, in, to the right hand side direction, then it is plus. If it is in the left hand side direction, then it is minus. If you solve this, we will get the value of coefficient of restitution. What is the value? What is the answer? 0.21. 0.21. This is the value of E. Now they have asked us what is the loss in kinetic energy? Okay. So loss in Ke. Loss Loss in kinetic energy is equal to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So what is the final kinetic energy? For first block, it is half M1 V1 square is the final. Half M1 V1 square is the final K minus initial K is half M1 U1 square initial velocity. So half M1 is a common cardinal. It is half M1 V1 square minus U1 square. 
this is for the first block plus for the second block it is half m2 d2 square minus u2 square okay so loss in k loss in k is equal to it is half into m1 m1 is the mass of the first body 18 it is 80 newton is the weight m1 is mass this 80 is weight it is in newton so 80 divided by 9.81 what is the answer 8.15 into v1 square v1 is the velocity baka kai velocity v1 v1 value kithe 1.25 minus 1.25 into 1.25 into 1.25 minus minus u1 square u1 is 3 3 square plus how into m2 m2 is 1.01 10 divided by 9.81 into v2 v2 is 4 minus 10 square u2 is 10 what is the answer u equal to minus 73.13 ju Therefore, loss in P is equal to energy. Okay. So, energy is never negative. So this is one type of problem. Now in this problem, see, we have used law of conservation of momentum, and you have calculated one velocity which is unknown. It is about u1 by t, u2 by t, v2 by t, v1 by t. So how do you calculate the velocity? The law of conservation of momentum. So after half formula, you have to give the unit like the coefficient of distribution. You have calculated the coefficient of distribution, and this is the loss in kinetic energy. Half and formula, you have already calculated. वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल मध्य फैसन एफ इंटू एस वॉट डन इज इक्वल टू चेंज इन कैनेटिक एनर्जी चेंज इन एनर्जी लॉस इन एनर्जी लॉस इन एनर्जी लॉस इन एनर्जी So this is one type of problem. Then today evening we will take the next type of problem. Okay. Okay, sir.
Give the attendance. Roll number one, two, Present, three, sir. Present, sir. Four, five, Present, sir. six, seven, Present, sir. Roll seven, Roll number seven is present. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Present, sir. Sixteen. Present. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Present. 20, present sir. 21, present sir. 22, present sir. 23, present sir. 24, present sir. 25, 26, 27, present sir. 28, present. 29, present 30, sir. Present sir. 31. 32. Present, sir. 33. Present, sir. 34. 35. Present, sir. 36. Present, sir. 37. Present, sir. 38. 39. 40. 41. Present, sir. Sixty one. Sir, seventeen is present. Seventeen is present. Okay. Fifty five present, sir. Fifty five is also present. Okay. Seventeen is present. 55 is also present. Hmm. Anybody else? You are able to see the screen. These are the whole numbers. 45 is present, sir. 45 is present. Okay. Ah. Anybody else? These are the offset roll numbers. Okay. okay. So we will stop here.